All right, you guys, I have been a nutrition coach and a trainer for like 15 years. That is a long time. And the macronutrient that most of my clients and followers ask me about how to hit and have the most trouble hitting is their protein targets, okay? So I have some tips for you today on how to hit your protein target right on the dot, okay? First of all, the biggest tip I have for hitting your macros on track, on target every single day, is planning your macros in advance, okay? So the night before, set aside 15, 20 minutes. After a while, you'll get really good at this and you'll be able to do it in like five or 10 minutes. But plan your food the night before, okay? Then you can think about, okay, what's my schedule like tomorrow? Am I meeting friends for lunch? Am I gonna be busy during this time of day so I need something more on the go? What foods do I have in the fridge? You know, just things like that. So you can plan your meals ahead, okay? So you're planning, you're in your app, you've got your little app here. Um, I like to use my Fitness Pal or MyNet Diary. Those are both great ones. MyNet Diary, I like the layout a little bit better. It's a little prettier than my Fitness Pal, I feel like. So plan your food. Then you have it all in front of you and you can actually go back through and tweak things until your macros are right on target. So for example, let's say your protein targets are under, but your fats are over. You'll see that in advance and you'll be able to just go tweak amounts of things. Okay. So go to your um, protein and just increase some serving sizes of it. Okay. And then go to your fats and decrease some serving sizes, or you may even have to take out a whole serving of fat in one meal and that might put your fats right on target okay but what do you do this is a common question when your carbs and fats are on target but you're just way low on protein so I have a few favorite things you can add okay so one thing obviously is protein powder okay you can have the tiniest shake or an even bigger shake than normal, okay? So let's say you're 10 grams of protein short, have a half scoop of protein powder and water, call it good, it's just your little macro cap, okay? Um, let's say you are quite a few more grams of protein powder short, or of protein short, you don't have to stick to one scoop, you can have a scoop and a half if you need to, okay? Um, another thing I like to use, I've got one right here, are these little tuna packets, okay? These tuna packets, especially the flavored ones, there's, fl there's flavors that don't have hardly any added carbs or fats. You don't even need any mayo or anything, um, in my opinion, because I like tuna. Um, you don't need mayo or anything to make them taste good because um, just how they're, how they're packaged, I don't know. The ones that are not flavored, I do like to add a little bit of mayo or a little bit of Greek yogurt or something. But if you like tuna, you'll probably like the flavored ones without adding anything. Okay, I also like to keep hard boiled eggs on hand and you can have just the egg white at yolks are not bad but if we're trying to get only protein and not added fats you could have a couple egg whites um you can keep carton egg whites and just scramble up some egg whites and top with some salt and pepper be delicious throw in some veggies a little bit um also make sure you always cook at the beginning of the week cook a couple meats okay so i usually will do a ground beef and a chicken and i'll make sure i have some ground beef and chicken on hand throughout the week so if i need to just like if you're in a bind, you can seriously just grab some chicken out of your out of your fridge, you know, like you can even take one ounce or something. One ounce would give you like 12 grams of protein or eight or something. I actually don't know off the top of my head. <laughs> I think it's probably seven to 10, somewhere around there. Um, I don't actually ever have one ounce of protein. So I'm trying to think, probably about seven or eight. Yeah, that's about right. Um, so keeping your meats on hand, keep some egg whites on hand, some non-perishable proteins like this and some protein powder, and then you'll be able to just kind of add and tweak until your protein targets are right on track. Okay, hope you guys like that. I plan on doing a video like this for carbs and fats as well, um, as well as like greens and different vitamins and, su and such things like that. So ask in the comments below if you have any questions on how to reach your macros or if you have any common problems that you keep, re that you keep hitting that you're just not quite sure how to move past and I will happily answer them. Uh, please give this, this video a like and subscribe to my channel and I will check you guys later.